love to eat. A lot of people love to eat it. And today, Dan Kohler is showing us some different types of sugar and is breaking down the science behind the food we all love, which is sugar. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, actually, I'm, I'm doing this because of a conversation you and I had a couple weeks ago. Really? You know, a lot of times we walk into the grocery store these days and we're baffled by the choices we have in sugars. And, and this is really to help you demystify those, those racks in front of you. When it comes down to it, when we talk about sugar, sugar is sucrose. And sucrose is a disaccharide, solid, soluble, crystalline carbohydrate. What does that mean? <laughs> Uh, I have no idea. It is a double sugar that dissolves in water. So, so when we talk about sucrose, we're actually talking about glucose and fructose, which are naturally occurring sugars, and every living being on the earth, plant or animal, has glucose and fructose in their bloodstream. That's, that's what you need to survive. Mm. So 80% of the world's sugar comes from? Sugar cane. There we go, sugar oh. cane. Well, nice. Bravo. I didn't go to Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> now, the way we get it from sugar cane, we, we cut the stalks. Okay. We see a sap that runs out of it. That sap is water, molasses, and sucrose. That sap is then put into a centrifuge. Now, a centrifuge is much like your salad spinner at home. I've built one here. We've strapped a little vial of molasses and sugar into it. And this is what a centrifuge does. It spins something at very high speeds for a very long time. And after a while, materials of different densities begin to separate. So you can see that sugar will actually come out of the molasses. The molasses sinks to the bottom. After that, the sugar is filtered and then put through a vacuum crystallization process. That's how we get white sugar over here. Now, when you move down the line, we're getting darker, we're getting less processed. So these are all really cane products, even beet sugar. Beet sugar accounts for the other 20% of the sugar in the world. It's Chemically, the exact same thing as cane sugar. There is no difference. It's not a healthier alternative. Why do they do that? Because it's prettier? It's white? No, actually, because why do they make it white? Yeah. Well, sugar... It's processed. Yes, it's processed. This is actually a very pure chemical, much in the way that sodium chloride salt is a very powerful and pure chemical. We can do amazing things with refined sugar, but we, we need to actually understand and treat it like a chemical, much in the same way that citric acid is a very powerful thing. But lemons, we do a lot of amazing things with. You wouldn't pour citric acid on your hand, but you might chew a lemon, right? Yeah. Well, so sucrose, pure sucrose, is sort of the equivalent of refined citric acid. It's very powerful. Now, as we move down, they're less refined. So this is what we call turbinado. Turbinado sugar has not been centrifuged as much. It's dark because it has a coating of molasses still on it. Not that much more nutritious. Now we're going to move into the second category. These are called unrefined cane products, and they're found around the world. You've actually got some on your plate right here. Mm -hmm. You can begin tasting. Tell me what you think. <laughs> We've got uh, piloncillo, panela, jaggery, and a couple of forms, and brown sugar from China. Now these, they cut the sap, they boil it down, they pour it into molds, and they just let it set. So there's really no refining here. They still have a lot of their residual minerals, vitamins, and sort of buffering chemicals that help your body absorb that sugar slower. As we move down, we're getting into what I think are the more interesting sugars. And these are sugars that you can find on shelves around the country these days. And they're alternatives that we refer to as coconut or palm sugar, date sugar, and maple sugar. The way we make these is very similar to the way we make cane sugar. So for coconut sugar, we're going to put a tap into the tree, drain the sap out. And this is the same for maple syrup. We boil it, and then we dry it, and we desiccate it. That's how we get these things. Date sugar is a little different. I love dates. You do? Oh my gosh. You should have, you've I got some had date one. sugar. You've got I date haven't sugar had one in a really long time. So the I haven't had a date in a long time either. <laughs> okay. Date sugar here is the only non-soluble sugar because it's actually not an extract. The way we make that, we dry the dates entirely and then we chop them up very finely. We grind them and we process them with a little bit of flour. So you can use these in baked goods, but they won't dissolve like other sugars. They will always stay suspended in your batters. So if you're gonna make a cookie or a cake, what uh, sugar would you recommend other than the pure? Truly, sugar? my favorite right here, uh -huh. this. What is I it? adore coconut sugar. This okay. is palm sugar. It's palm, palm sap. sugar. Yeah, it's palm sugar, coconut sugar, same thing. It's been dried into a cake form and it melts into sauces. It's great for savory and sweet. Does your body respond to these differently? Yeah. It does. The less processed, the more buffering agents there are. So, so when we talk about health with sugar, we're looking at the glycemic index. index. And mm -hmm. the glycemic index is a measure of how quickly a sugar will be absorbed into your bloodstream. So pure sucrose, like I said, this is a very powerful chemical. Absorb it into your bloodstream very quickly. Yeah. It has a rating of 65. Yeah. As we move down the line, because they're less refined, those minerals and vitamins and molasses that's left over really help your body take that in slower. Nothing. Good stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, you now have a degree from Harvard. That's okay. That's <laughs> delicious. Good stuff, Dan. Thank Wonderful. you. If you'd like more information, you can visit our website and renegadekitchen.com. Thank you, as always, Dan Kohler. You're such an interesting man. Thank you. And from uh, knowledge to some good deals, yeah. Sandy Newton's up dates? next. Can I have a date? Hey, guys, that's right. Well, speaking of some sweet deals for dads or grads, come on back for Hollywood Steals. We've got five great steals.